Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Um, Vinod, do you want to add yourself here? Sure. Yeah, you can add me in there too if you're editing it. Greetings. <laughs> That's, yeah, I misspelled my own name in grade school, Goggings, because all well, that <laughs> ING stuff confused me. Okay. Um, everybody okay with this? Yes. yes. Do you think it sufficiently addresses the concern the elf had? I think so. Um, I think the there's also concern in the application itself, which is going to be on me to sort that out uh, of the way we ask that question. I think they were also weren't, you know, wondering if the things that they were doing would still count based on how we ask the question. So we'll change that. But I think this metric looks great. And maybe some of the things that we changed in here, like in the application, you could say there are several ways to, to do this, for example. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we're just going to broaden the way we ask it to. Uh, yep. Okay. Well, I'll show a PR with this. Thanks for doing my work for me, everybody. I appreciate you. <laughs> you can mark it as complete. Yay. Well, my day's done. I'm done. Yeah. Time for the weekend, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, it's close. Or as Matt pointed out, that it's leap day, so you can do anything you want. Do you matter. all know this? Because it's leap day, you can do whatever you want because this day doesn't really count. Yeah, I think I may put some guardrails around that statement. <laughs> Interestingly, my uncle was born on a leap day. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so he has that's a birthday cool. after every four years. That's yeah. cool. Um, all right, so then let's so all share. Okay, so I do have if somebody could merge that. If you, Elizabeth, could you go over to it's in DEI? Yeah, I think I can merge. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, and then we had another one that had come up yesterday in the um, data science working group. And it was around event location inclusivity. And so essentially the, the idea was is that there's a couple different ways that this metric considers event location inclusivity. Um, and it's just, it's largely around, at least in these two visuals, um, LGBTQ plus from this index perspective. And there was a discussion that said, perhaps there's other ways of consi considering event location inclusivity as well. So this was the list that was brought up yesterday. So, for example, an event that has a conflict with other bad events. So what came up last time was FOSSI. How there was other events that were occurring around FOSSI that might have been in conflict with <laughs> some of the attendees of FOSSI. Um, or that other events are occurring at the same time as other open source events. Financial and travel constraints. So like maybe getting to Switzerland might be really expensive. <laughs> Doing a conference in Geneva might be really expensive or even Austria. So things about that. Um, visa, oh, religious holidays. So attending to that makes sense. Visa access, something we run into pretty regularly for ChaosCon. Um, Air quality came up. So there was a mention of a conference that was in, uh, where was it? In China, where the air quality readings were really bad. China has had 
uh, in Beijing, in particular in the summertime, bad air quality. So that makes sense. Things like that. Um, availability of public transport. Um, any current disruptions that are occurring in a city. So these were these were the things that were brought up. I don't know what people think think of these. If you have any reaction to these. I think we can incorporate those in the metric event inclusivity. So do you think it would just be, where do you think we would do that? Well, we talk about a little bit about, especially about the conflicting events and description. So maybe yeah. we can just make them bullets. Like here are some of the ways that you can look at or think about event location inclusivity. Just here in the description. I think so. Because I mean, that's where we're kind of talking about some of these things, but we could just pull them out and make them bullets since our list is now long. Yeah. yeah. Either we can have it in the implementation filters, like where we filter okay event location yeah, weather visa all the all the list yeah what do people think so we do have room Vinod's point was here there is the filters yes like adding the list there yes is what I'm proposing or the other option is to add it like up here, that was to the description. Because we keep the description very, you know, to the point, short and sweet, uh, not going in very detail on that. What are we trying to add that list of criteria? Yeah, yes. Just almost like just cut and paste it. Yeah. I think data collection strategy is where yeah, or this the data blocks. collection is also a second option. Oh, right here. Here, yep. There because, is a yes. Yeah, those are all different data points to be collected. Yes. Yeah, that is also a good option. Okay. So it would be, yeah. they would be the numbers and not numbers. Yes, what, those but... numbers. So it would be like that. Yeah. Yes. This is gonna look good. <laughs> we have to format them. Number four we have already. Like that first one is in number yeah. two. So how what do you think about? Mm. Financial costs? Yeah. Associated with ending an event because yeah. I think travel constraints kind of it's a little different. I also don't know what is meant by travel constraint that is separate from like the visa access. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> so religious, um, like. Well, these are they're written a little funny. So what are these are written as questions, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um Is occurring two hours? Occurring during the event. Um. Well, how would how do you think I should phrase this one? Uh, what are the visa complications? Are there any visa complications? These are related issues. Yep. 
You think about air quality. For that. With me still. You. So as Matt, you are doing this, uh, I was thinking of as we have been doing collaboratively uh, through Google Sheet, yeah. we can use the same in a dev environment and directly edit it over here, everybody and then. We could. I was just hoping to do it really quickly. Does, wouldn't it be cool if we could leave today with two updated metrics? Yep. Um, what do people think about public transit as a consideration? Yes. What is the uh, we can generalize it? What are the transportation options like public transport, private transport, and other options, which is like more inclusive? Yeah. that yeah okay matt i just dropped a link in the chat um it's called it's a it's a website that keeps track of hotels that have problems tr mistreating their employees so it's kind of like a, a list to avoid so okay. i just dropped that in the link hmm. for the next bullet i mean okay so is it kind of like that one yeah that one it's for that one okay um so like what, what would it be like does the venue appear on a on a um a list of what do they call this it's fair called fair hotel. hotel so uh are the venue like uh following the fair policies and not on the list of blacklist or something Yeah, so the list the list is like um, represents working people in hotels, gaming, food service, manufacturing, blah blah blah. So they're they compiled a list of hotels where there are issues, either like a labor dispute or complaints. Wow, that's a pretty good resource actually. I didn't wow. even know that existed. And so I maybe see the, the, I see the good brands in it, like big brands. Like that, maybe? How about that? Uh, I... I just thought that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if they have... Um... It's a labor market risk <laughs> that they're speaking of specifically. We should probably yeah. be specific. Yeah. Yeah, mm. specifically about the way they tr treat their workers. The risk, I think the risk that I read there is that the risk is of some kind of labor stoppage that would affect your stay, but that's, Well, that, but also like it's yeah. doing the right thing, you know, that's, by Yeah, that's like the coding, like the dog whistle, if you will, not that yeah. it's a dog whistle, but it's like, uh, it's indirect signaling that, go. yeah. That's good. Mm. Having locations that are more diverse. So we do have another metric. Uh, oh, no, 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 never mind. I know what this one's about. What is this one? 
So it'd be like um, if you have a, a an event in a place that is not very diverse in general, like um, Minneapolis. Yeah, or like you know <laughs> what I mean, like a place that doesn't just doesn't have the diversity like a New York City would have, for instance. Seattle. I'd say Seattle and Minneapolis are the least diverse major U.S. cities. But that's only in the U.S. They have that. Yeah. That index so. I guess the feeling is like if you are hosting it in an all white city, you know, is that going to be inclusive for folks? Are they going to? So uh, how would you put that as a question? Does the city? What are the demographic uh, diversity demographics of the city where the event is hosted? Yeah, that's good. What are the demographic? What is the demographic diversity? Mm -hmm. Yes. City. Like that? Yes. So, and then this would be city. Is there a website for that one? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Is that this? Yeah, I think so. I think that both of yeah. those are intended to be inclusive of that question. Yeah. We can do both. Okay, what anything else in here? When I will uh, look at the uh, link, it'll show a repetition rather than a separate link in just on the at a glance. What's that? What so works? this reference will show a repetition at a glance where oh, under who are the yeah. Uh, city demographic diversity. So when you, uh, if you click the preview, it will show you exactly same as a repetition rather than two separate links. So that fixes that. Georg's hand is up. I'm going back hmm. to the data collection strategies item number. Can you hold on a second. I didn't quite catch Vinod's comment. Uh, uh, so what I'm saying is. Uh, either we have separate wording for the separate link, otherwise it will show as a repetition rather than a... Okay. When you uh, view it... Like, what uh, do you think I should call this then? I would call it dash US news and then call the other one dash academia.edu or something. Yes, something to distinguish two references. Yeah, you've reversed the labels, but... Okay. Oh, USA Today is one. Mm -hmm. And then this is U.S. News, I guess. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, Gabriel. In the data collection strategies, item number seven, I propose to reword it. Does air quality negatively impact the health of event attendees? Huh? That is outside the scope of what we can do. What we can look at is are there known air quality Concerns mm -hmm. or what is the air quality at the event location? I like that person. And then we are inconsistent with um, naming it host city, event city, yeah. um, location. So we're okay. So attending the event. What are the religious holidays at the same time as the event? What are the visa related issues with attending the event? Is that okay so far? Yeah, or traveling to the event in this case. Yep. Okay. What are the known air quality concerns? Um, the event. Let's just say event location. And this is location. Event location. 
I'll, I'll stick with location. Does the venue, the... So here, even location. Yep. Oops. How's that? Does that work for you here? Yeah, in number eight, options within the event location, maybe change that at the event location or around. Okay. Yep, that makes it more consistent. Thank you. Yep. Um, let's see, that goes away. Um, we might want to leave accessibility on there. I know we have a whole metric around accessibility, but it does include, I think, would speak to this metric as well. well like how well does the event or how well does the city event i think the event location uh or venue yes, uh, the what we could say what accommodations does the event provide what what accessibility accommodations does the event venue would provide something like that. I and then I dropped a link in the chat to add at the bottom too. So listen, uh, listening to this, uh, the thought came to my mind is, is the e location even accessible in a sense it is in a remote urban area, can we go there? There are many places where you cannot e easily commute. Omaha, Columbia, Missouri. Yeah, I don't. How would we say that? How how easy is it to travel? How accessible now? is the city, or like is the transportation going there? Because if you have to take a plane, a train, a bus, or you know, two three modes to reach your location for the event is challenging for the people. Yorg's hand is up, by the way. Yorg, that's all. Oh, okay. Yorg's hand is not up. Geographically hmm. remote, maybe? I don't know. Accessible. Yeah, there we go. Even uh, looking. There we go. Yeah. Yes, yes exactly. Look at that. Boom. We all think. Will you fix that first reference? Because it's like not formatted the way the rest are. <laughs> it's really bothering me. <laughs> That's true. The second one is also oddly formatted, but at least I think it's OK. The, the, the second one doesn't have a link with it at yeah. all. <laughs> so it's not very helpful. Yeah. Just need to look at uh, Ford, Forbes 2019. Oh, is there a footnote? It says Forbes 2019 in the parentheses afterwards. I don't know if that means. I'm assuming if I Google Forbes 2019, oh, yeah, dangerous maybe. places for gay travelers. Title. Maybe we can find yeah. the link. 20 most dangerous places for the gay travelers. I added everybody to the list of yeah. contributors. Thanks. Let me know if you don't want to be there. It yeah. looks like they have an updated report that we can link. Yeah. They have a 2023 version. Uh, find the newer one. Go ahead, post that in. And it's just an example. It is not authoritative. I can just. Is it still 20 most dangerous places for gay travelers? Is that still the <clears throat> um, risk, most it looks like the riskiest? Yeah, so there's a 2023 link that I found. I think that's what Eric provided. His is 2021. Oh. Yeah, mine is older. Oh, yeah. What is the title? Somebody just, so I don't have to click on I'll, it. Yeah, I'll put it, um, I'll, I'll copy and paste it. Here you go. So, Sean, yours is safest countries, whereas mm -hmm. the other one was riskiest. It takes yeah. the angles. I guess they took the, took the positive spin in 2023. Here's where it's safe. So these, I suppose, are different, really different pieces of information. Is that it? I got it. Hmm. All right, done. Awesome. I think it gets to the same point that certain yeah. places are 
less friendly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna dating to include new. Look how productive we are. Yeah, I know. This is I this is, it. I really like doing this meeting like this. So I have another one. There's another PR in DEI, Elizabeth. I will, I will go merge that. All right. I have we're to done. run because I have another meeting at 12. Yep. And we're done. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.